to add products to menu on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a product or multiple products to your drop down menu within your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Shopify.com, create your account and sign in into your admin dashboard like that. Then you need to set up your shop and also your product. How we can do that, go ahead and select the plan that you are going to work with because then you are going to publish your website so you can modify it live and also go ahead and set up the product. How you can add the product, simply go ahead and click on product right there on the left side menu. It will show up right here the list of the product that your shop contain. I'll let you see here how we can add these products, then we can add them to that specific uh, uh, right there uh, drop down menu. So I'm going to click on add product. So let's say that we are going to create or upload a new product for that title. Let's go ahead and upload an image. I'm going right there to upload an image. So we are going to set this specific product. I'm going to set here. Sporty, for example, sporty shoe uh, for uh, summer, let's say summer jogging. I'm going to set a little description. So we are going to get the help of the AI generator. I'm going to get a little bit of description right there. If you have a, the a product right there, uh, and also you have imported that specific product, you need to set up right there the sizes of the product. For example, you are going to put here size uh, of the product, make that bold, and then you are going to set the dimension. For example, uh, let's say that we are going to set 14 by, I don't know, this is just a number. Here we are going to set also the material material uh, used to um, build this product or this shoe and etc so after you have set that i'm going to put the price of it so we are going to set a price and for uh, a promotional purpose we are going to set a price uh, uh, for a comparison like that and here we have it. We have the inventory. I'm going to set a stock of 999. And then we have the stock set for the inventory. For the shipping, you are going to set up, for example, a weight of that. This will help you determine the shipping fee of that specific product and etc. If you have some variants, go ahead and add some variants. For example, color, shoe size and etc. For example, uh, when we are on a shoe, we're talking on a shoe, we need a shoe size, for example, you can go ahead and add these specific uh, sizes. For example, we are going to add the size 9, 10, 10 half, 8, 7, and etc. So here we have those. If you have uh, some images for different uh, right there, uh, variants, you can go ahead and put them right away. And when you finish everything, go ahead and click on save. Now the product is ready. So I will let you see here uh, the product on our page. You can go ahead and see that a product on our specific page. So we are going to click on view and boom, here we have the product. So we have it. This is the description, the title, the sale price, the add to cart button and etc. Now we have the product. I am going to add it to a specific drop down page. So all we need to do is to click on online store right there. From any part of your store, we have the admin uh, menu from there on the left side always. And then we are going to click and select navigation. So for the navigation, we are going to select the main menu. Click on the main menu and then we are going to add an item. So for that, we are going to name it shoe, for example. And here we have added the name of that specific page. So now we are going to click on the search or paste a link right there. Case, click on it. 
and now we have a lot of choices if you want to add only one product go ahead and click on product then you can go ahead and see that specific product that we have uh, created for example this is a the sporty shoe click on it click on add and here we have the shoe so what we need to do to make it a drop down menu we are going to set up for example this we are going to click on the six vertical dots here we are going to hold the mouse then we are going to add it under the specific uh, title of the menu that we need it to set it as a drop down for example we are going to set it under uh, the uh, here command of a product now to add it as a sub menu we are going to swipe it up or slide it a little bit to the left until we see here a little circle uh, constructed so we click on it and boom we have here a drop down menu so we are going to click on save now we are going to take a look on our uh, shopify store here we have some issues so as you can see right there after a few refreshing of the page we have the shopify store now as you can see we have placed the product or that shoe category or that shoe product to a specific uh, menu item which is products when you click on it you will see here shoes so when you click on shoes you're going directly to see the shoe that we have added so where there was only adding a single product to that specific case so let's go ahead and try and add a multiple products so right there we are going back to the navigation click on main menu and now we are going to add another sub menu to the product so i'm going to click on add a menu item name it for example uh let's say that we are going to set it as a collection or new collection or you can name it for example new arrival like that this is the most popular um recent names that we can add or necessary to add to our store so we are going to click on search or paste a link now we are going to click on product and we can go ahead right there and add for example uh, another product or add uh, here a product so i'm going to add uh, multiple products but if you want to add some collection you can go ahead and see accessories collections and etc and add them but in my case i will go ahead and add only products i will go ahead and add all the products so click on add save and now we are going to drag and drop it here we are going to set it under the product click on save and boom now we are going to visit our store again so we are going to see here are the products we have shoes and new arrivals you will see all of the products right there and boom that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one